Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. I'm here today to do a video on parabens. And why I decided to do this video was because my YouTube friend, Maria, her YouTube channel is Maria M. Parker. She didn't have a clue what parabens were. We were talking on Twitter and uh, she mentioned I mentioned parabens to her with a specific product that she was using for her hair and she was having medical issues and she kind of put the pieces together that maybe this was the reason why she was having medical issues in terms of hormones and stuff like that because we know parabens can affect your hormones so um, I decided to do a video to do some research on it and this is just a little bit of research to scratch the you know surface I would advise you to do your own research and find out you know information that you might need and also check out Maria's channel it's Maria M Parker her videos are very random she's natural and um, she doesn't only do natural hair videos she's very youthful and fun and she's very talented she makes wedding cake toppers and um, she does beautiful artwork and she has fashion shows and stuff like that so her channel is really fun so please check her channel out for her story which um, she discusses a product that she's been using that contains parabens and her medical issue that you know she feels that may be related to parabens so let's get started what are parabens? Parabens basically are preservatives and they've been used in products since the 1920s. Companies use parabens in their products to reduce bacteria and to reduce fungus in the products. And the parabens are prevalent in facial and body products, skincare products, shampoos, and conditioners. Now there are two kinds of parabens. There are natural parabens and there are synthetic parabens. Natural parabens can be found in foods like blueberries, coconuts, prunes, cinnamon. So I would advise you to do your research on that some more. Um, I don't think that the parabens produced in the fruits naturally are harmful to you, but like I said, do your research. There are synthetic parabens, the ones that we need to be concerned about. Those are the ones that are in the products, and synthetic parabens basically are chemicals. Um, you can find them in things like sunscreen, deodorant, colognes, perfumes, soaps, liquid soaps, oil, and glue. And the companies use them to preserve their products because they're low cost and they're effective. The types of parabens you may see on some of the products that you have are methyl paraben, ethyl paraben, propyl paraben, isobutyl paraben, benzyl paraben, lots of parabens. Um, and I also read that in 1984, um, they did a study where they found 13,200 products that contain parabens. So we're in 2012, so the numbers definitely probably went up by now. And most of us have already been exposed to parabens. They're basically in most of the everyday products that we use. So um, now that we know, you know, the harmful effects of parabens, we can probably figure out a way if we can reduce the usage or completely eliminate it or just be smart about how we use them. Um, in the studies that I did research on, uh, one study showed that they detected parabens in the tumors that was found in breast tissue. Uh, methylparaben was one of the most common parabens that were found and observed in, in a high level in the breast tissue. So prolonged use to parabens, um, make, it goes into your bloodstream. So the longer that you have it on your skin, the more that you absorb it in your body. So I, off the top of my head, would say if you're using a, para, uh, a conditioner that contains paraben, you may not want to do a deep condition with it, you know, and leave it on your head for like an hour, two hours, or even overnight because you're being exposed to it for a prolonged period of time. So I would say, um, you know, I'm not going to tell people not to use something, use something. You make your own decisions and figure out, you know, how it is that you want to use it. Be informed, know what you're putting inside your body and outside. Um, what else did they say? Sorry about the sirens. I live in New York City, guys. It's noisy here. Um... The possible causes of parabens are increase in estrogen levels affecting the male and female organs, 
They also um, have studies that have shown that in males, they have a low sperm count when um, exposed to um, parabens. And females, um, breast cancer was one of the effects. Uh, parabens trigger allergic reactions as well like me I have very very sensitive skin I can't put anything on my skin so I don't even use lotions anymore I used to you know use lotions that were perfumed and everything like that but it wasn't really too good for my skin so now the only thing I put on my skin is coconut oil my face all I put on it is um, jojoba oil and um, it was interesting to find that um, who regulates the parabens now in the UK they have um, the European Union and they set the limits on how much parabens can be in these products. And in the US they have the Cosmetic Ingredient Reviews, the CIR. They also give guidelines but there is not a legal requirement. So basically what that's saying is the companies can put however much of the paraben they want to because there is no legal requirement. They only, the CIR only puts the guideline as to what you can put in the products. So basically that's a general um, explanation of what parabens are. I advise you to do research and um, just know what you're putting in your body. And I would say if you wanted to make that transition from getting rid of your products, because I know people spend money on things and they, they just don't want to throw them out. You know, maybe if you have a hair product that has parabens in it, maybe you want to just put it on your ends. You know, you maybe you just want to use it for a co-wash where you're just washing it and it's coming out, you know. Um, maybe you don't want to put lotion on your skin that has parabens because you know lotion is going to be sitting on your skin, you know. I know sunblock has parabens in it. The one that I had here had at least four different parabens in it and it's a child's brand sunblock. So there's uh, parabens in lots of baby products too. So just be informed, do your research and um you know make your own decisions but I hope I was able to help anyone if they didn't know what parabens were and um, once again check out Maria's channel so she can tell you her story on her medical condition and, uh, and um, um, I just totally lost it her medical condition and her story on parabens okay thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye